everyone, my name is Lisa, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to use Mentimeter.com. Mentimeter is a great way to collect survey data, whether you're like a student doing research for a class, a teacher quizzing students, or maybe you're an entrepreneur gathering data to find out about your business. Basically, this website allows you to create um, graphs based on um, like literal surveys that you're taking. So first you need to create an account, you need an email, then it'll send you a verification and from there it'll give you instructions and all that jazz. Um, so when you first create your account, it's going to look like this, pretty empty. Um, it's a really basic website, like there's no huge um, in-depth map that you need to follow or anything. Um, for the free option, you can create well, you can do this with all of them, but in the free option, which is what I have, you can create a question in the upper right hand uh, type box right here. It says in your question here, obviously. So I'm going to do something like, how about who likes oops, cheese? And then you create the question. And... It's going to give you an option, you can do single choice, open ended, <clears throat> um, and then 100 points and dual axes. Um, so I'm going to do single choice, kind of like a multiple choice test kind of thing. Um, with any multiple choice test, you're going to need answers. So um, here I'm going to put just yes and no, super basic. Um, and then for kind of an additional fun feature, you can have it in dark and color or business white. I like dark and color because it's pretty. So, and then as soon as you're done, you just click start presenting. Do -do 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 -do. Processing, processing. All right, so here is where your graph will be. Obviously, it's not raised at all yet because nobody's voted yet. So, how do you get people to vote? Well, since this is a controlled environment kind of survey, um, you tell your students or whoever you want to do the voting to go to www.govote.at and copy that. Open a new tab. <clears throat> and then you go back you give this code, this key code, to anyone you want to vote. Copy. Just enter it into this. Submit. And it gives you the option for what you want to vote. So, yes, of course, who doesn't like cheese? Submit answer. And that's it. So, when you return back here, ba bam It's already uploaded. It works really fast. Everything's connected. So that's how that works. Um, let's see what else. Oh, additional features. Um, you can make the graph full screen. Um, um, and then you can also um, click to show QR code if you want to use that for some reason. Um, ah, go away. Um, you can open or close voting, so now nobody can vote, um, or you can reopen it again, very friendly to that. Um, if you don't want to see the results, like you're saying, okay class, what do you think, and you don't want them to see it, you can do that, and then, oh look, who's right, of course, yeah. Ah, what? Okay, there we go. And then, if you want to restart the question, say something went wrong or something, all you have to do is reset and it trashes the previous data. Now, <clears throat> um, you can edit the question, you can share the question on social media or email or something, you can um, download the results to your computer by clicking export and all of these options are in the lower right hand corner, follow my mouse, so they're all down here. And then um, if you want to go back to the dashboard, which is kind of like the home page, 
the bottom right hand corner there's a like three or I mean um, three by three uh, dot thing just click on that and you are back home um, there are also additional options for this website um, say this is kind of limited to the amount of surveys you want to do you can go to pricing there are three more options beside the free. There is for single users, for teams of businesses, for educators, and they offer a lot more options. Like you can um, style, um, make export your vote results to spreadsheets. Um, you have discounted prices if you're a um, in a business or a teacher or something. So they're really friendly for that. Um, and if you have any more questions, just go to the how to or learn more links up at the very top of the page. And that is Mentimeter. Thank you for watching.